Finally, Real Madrid have got their man. After years of negotiating with PSG and Mbappe himself, the deal is all but official. In a few months, Mbappe will be in the famous white kit of Los Blancos and will be looking to continue the legacy of the club. But there is one scary thing that nobody is noticing. You see, Mbappe will be stepping into the shoes of Real Madrid's greatest ever player, CR7. He will have great weight on his shoulders, but is for sure capable of handling these high expectations and is already bearing great similarities to Ronaldo from both his playing style and his career statistics at a relatively young age. Mbappe could be the secret to Madrid's continued domestic success as well as their European domination. Mbappe is the future and the present. He's a fantastic player, very fast, and he will be the future, Cristiano Ronaldo himself has said. And it brings up the questions. Can Mbappe actually fill CR7's boots after his imminent transfer to Real Madrid? And how can he do it? Just like Ronaldo did, Mbappe has a passionate ambition to play for Real Madrid. His ambition to play for Real became undeniable in the summer of 2021 when reports emerged that the Frenchman would force his way out of PSG to Real Madrid. Los Blancos president Florentino Perez assured fans about Real's imminent capture of Mbappe. PSG's Nasir al khalifi publicly stated Mbappe was going nowhere and if he were, he wouldn't be going for free. So, the PSG boss didn't even entertain Real's several offers for the players, including a reported fee in the range of an eye-watering 222 million euros. Due to this, Mbappe became PSG's public enemy number one and was even booed during the side's first game of the 2021-22 season. But still, Mbappe wasn't discouraged. He was going to Real no matter what. So, the player chose to run down his contract and refused PSG's numerous attempts for an extension. Everyone was certain that by the summer of 2022, Mbappe would become a Real Madrid player. They had reached an agreement on his contract, which reportedly included a signing-on fee of €130 million Euros and total control of his own image rights. Fearing the worst... PSG allegedly involved the Qatari authorities and even French President Emmanuel Macron. Macron allegedly called Mbappe several times in order to convince him to stay and become the face of both Ligue 1 and French football. In addition, PSG offered Mbappe a ridiculous amount of money and the power to be involved in the key operations of the club. With a deal that was just too good to refuse, PSG got their way and Qatar kept its reputation of having a relationship with one of the world's greatest football talents. Mbappe signed for two years plus the option of a third. He reportedly had to call Real Madrid's president Florentino Perez and inform him that he ultimately actually wouldn't be signing up for Real Madrid. It was a significant blow to Los Blancos, but they weren't about to give up just yet. And despite only just signing a new deal, Mbappe too wasn't ready to give up. Mbappe revealed that he wouldn't be extending his contract by another year and this meant that by the summer of 2024, he would be a free agent. And yet still Madrid couldn't wait and offered 200 million euros regardless. PSG rejected the offer, confident that their star man would renew. But they were wrong and he didn't. Now this led to a showdown between Mbappe and PSG in the summer of 2023. They dropped him from the first team for two weeks and didn't take him on the preseason tour. Eventually though, PSG softened their stance and Mbappe was reintegrated into the squad. There was some speculation about what would eventually happen, and despite there being no official communication from either party, it's an open secret that Mbappe would subsequently make the switch to Madrid. There are even reports that Mbappe is willing to take a pay cut to achieve this. So no matter how hard they fought, it seems PSG never stood a chance, and as we'd soon see, Mbappe to Madrid was always inevitable. 
So how did Mbappe do it? How did he become one of the most sought after players in football? Kylian Mbappe was born December the 20th, 1998 and was raised in Bondi to the northeast of Paris. He had the tools of greatness that were provided for him at birth. His father Wilfred was a coach and as a result, he enrolled in the same academy his father coached at, AS Bondi. It was there that his father and other youth coaches discovered one thing. Mbappe was exceptional. His coaches noticed that he was quick, could dribble and strike the ball cleanly, along with pretty much everything else. Real Madrid scouts noticed Mbappe when he was just 11 and invited him to see the club's facilities and train with their under-12s. However, Mbappe didn't sign for Madrid and afterward caught the attention of scouts from Clairefontaine, one of the world's most renowned football academies. And it wasn't only Clairefontaine scouts that noticed Mbappe. Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Bayern Munich and other French teams were also involved. Real Madrid were especially stubborn. Despite missing out on him when he was 11, they tried again when he was 14, with Madrid and France legend Zinedine Zidane involved in the process. But still Mbappe said no and chose to sign instead a three-year contract with Monaco. Monaco's coach, Leonardo Jardim, promoted Mbappe to the first team after he'd spent just three weeks playing in the reserves. Mbappe debuted two months after his promotion on the 2nd of December 2015, when he was 16 years and 347 days old. With his debut, he became Monaco's youngest ever first team player, breaking Thierry Henry's previous 1994 record. That wouldn't be the last of Henry's records that Mbappe would go on to break. On the 20th of February 2016, Mbappe scored his first goal for Monaco at the age of 17 years and 62 days. In the process, he became the youngest first-team goalscorer in Monaco's history, breaking one of Henri's records yet again. But Killian wanted more. And it wasn't the only Monaco record that he was after. In his second season of professional football, on the 14th of December 2016, Mbappe scored his first hat-trick for Monaco in the Coupe de la Ligue round of 16, becoming the first Monaco player to do so in the competition since Sonny Anderson in 1997. Then the next year, on the 11th of February 2017, Mbappe scored the first Ligue 1 hat-trick of his career at the age of just 18 years and two months old, becoming the youngest player to do so since Jeremy Menez did for Socho in 2005. Then, with his Champions League goal against Man City on the 21st of February 2017, aged 18 years and 63 days, he became the youngest French player to score in a Champions League knockout round match as well. So after Mbappe had shown he could do it on the bigger stage, Real Madrid reportedly showed up again and allegedly offered and agreed with Monaco a deal worth 160 million euros plus a further 20 million euros in add-ons. Although Monaco revealed that actually it was just rumours. Eventually, it was PSG that secured Mbappe's signature in the summer of 2017 through a loan with a mandatory purchase clause of 180 million euros through a loan with a mandatory purchase clause of 180 million euros. Mbappe promptly lit up the French capital and he went straight to business when he debuted. He scored his first goal in a 5-1 League One win away at Metz on the 8th of September 2017. He then went on to score his 10th goal in the Champions League against Bayern Munich, all while still 18 years old. While Mbappe was amazing in that 2017-2018 season, he would truly come alive in the next. However, before then, Mbappe received his first call-up to the France squad for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. He'd already received his first international call-up to face Luxembourg and Spain in March 2017 in the World Cup qualifiers. The electric winger was fascinating in the 2018 World Cup. He was off to a flying start, scoring his first goal against Peru in the group stages, becoming the youngest French goalscorer in World Cup history at 19. The Frenchman further etched himself in history with his performance against Argentina. His two goals in that match meant he was the second teenager to score two goals in a World Cup match after Pelé in 1958. Then Mbappe made another play for another one of Pelé's records. His thunderous strike against Croatia in the 2018 World Cup final earned him the record of the second teenager after Pelé to score in a World Cup final. After an overall spectacular performance, Mbappe received the FIFA World Cup Best Young Player Award. 
The Frenchman continued his hot streak into the 2018-2019 season. He led PSG to becoming League One champions while also being the top goalscorer with 33 goals. Due to his efforts, the Frenchman won the Player of the Year award. He was, again, even better in the 2019-20 season. He won the title of highest goalscorer again while leading PSG to both winning League One and getting to the Champions League final where they faced Bayern Munich. Unfortunately for Kylian, Bayern Munich proved a hard nut to crack and they scored a solitary goal through former PSG man Kingsley Coman and won the Champions League. As each season passes, Mbappe continues to reach new heights and keep improving, just like Ronaldo did early on in his career. The duo share some similarities, it's fair to say, such as their dribbling, speed and decisiveness. We're going to see the famous cut in from the left with a curler into the top right corner many times from Mbappe in the next few years. So, Kylian Mbappe's move to Madrid is all but decided. What do you think are his realistic chances of leaving a legacy similar to or even greater than Ronaldo's? Let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. We'll